Welcome everyone here from around the world. It's really wonderful that you've come. Everyone has a different times. For us, it's the evening. For many of you, it's also the morning or during the day. <laughs> I think that's beautiful. And uh, just building on what Alexander was sharing about new paradigm, it's where we understand the word paradigm, a paradigma, a meaning pattern. Um, let's also really explore what are really the patterns that we want to be co-create, that we want to weave our world together with. Um, it's beautiful to know that unity and oneness is given, <laughs> but what are we going to be doing with what is given? And that is really the call, uh, the, the call of time, not just the call of the century. And this is the, the critical call of life right now. What are you going to be doing? with what has been given and how are you going to apply that uh, in the design, in the redesign, in the transformation of our society um, and to really review um, and undo uh, the harmful dynamics of the human made systems that are not co-coherent with life itself. So we'll be exploring that. Um, you've probably seen that the topic for the first session is about igniting uh, a sacred democracy in a secular era. We can also hold that as what does it mean to really come into a form of governance um, that holds life as sacred? So what would happen if life comes the center of our practice, life becomes the focal um, focus, and but also the, the commitment of the commons. It, it, it's really what's going to expire us and that we understand that uh, as Alexander was saying, as life is a unified reality, how do we apply that now in the way that we are with each other, in the way that we also look after the future generations? Um, and that's why today with the, the panel that we have here, it's the exceptional people, because I'm gonna introduce them shortly to you. Um, they've all been living these questions in their own ways. They, they're all pioneers in their own ways. And most importantly, I mean, I know them all <laughs> personally, is that it's for them not a theoretical exploration, um, a new paradigm in politics, a new paradigm in governance, a new paradigm for how we co-create civilizations. I mean, just let that sink in, that we are now having this opportunity to consciously co-create the foundations for whole new civilizations, rather than letting history tell us afterwards the civilization that we were part of. So that's extraordinary. So let me just share with you a little bit more about our panel. The full biography, of course, is always on the website. Um, but let's start with my dear friend, uh, Jean Houston. And I just want to present already, we just published our book, The Future Humans Trilogy, and the first book, The Crest of Rose, and she will be sharing a little bit uh, during her contribution. So Jean, wow, <laughs> she is really a living legend in her own time. Um, I've had the fortune to work with her for the last year and a half, every single day. <laughs> and she's just extraordinary in the, in the way that the depth of compassion and commitment that she has for igniting the possible humans for a possible world um, she's um, a world-renowned scholar, futurist, research and human capacity, social change, systemic transformation, one of the principal founders of the human potential movement, and, and truly one of the foremost visionary thinkers and doers of our time. When Jane says it's got to get done, it's going to get done. <laughs> and she's been saying it's, it's time, we need to have a different kind of civilization, a whole different kind of governance. So trust me, when she says it's <laughs> it's, it's got to be done, it's got to be done. And that brings me then to Yusuf Mahmoud, also an incredible pioneer and path maker of peace, uh, who works as a senior advisor at the International Peace Institute and former UN Under Secretary General. He's headed peace operations in Burundi, the Central African Republic and Chad. And most of all, he is a man who really understands the importance of creating the right forms of governance that do not alienate people, that do not disconnect us from our planet um, and from everything that's important uh, in life. 
And that brings me then to Alexander Shiva, who is an incredible transformative educator, activist, integral philosopher, spiritual poet, and co-founder of Home for Humanity, as well as Trans for M Academy for Integral Transformation. And also has been living these questions for a very, very long time and has dedicated his entire life to be the integral systems and his you know, beautiful wife and partner <laughs> in every aspect that we can imagine, Rama Mani, <laughs> who is a transformative leader, educator, peace builder, poet, performance artist, whose life, work and art are devoted to human and global transformation. And with Alexander C is the co-founder of the Home for Humanity and the founder of the Theatre of Transformation Academy and has such an in-depth understanding of what it means to do this in an integral way, um, to really be inclusive of everyone. And so she's, she's living that larger humanity in her heart, in her practice every day. And so together we are going to be this morning exploring how do we ignite and that shift towards life-centered governance as an earth agora. And that, Jean, that brings me then to you. I'd love to see if you can come <laughs> on camera with me. There you are. And with Margaret Mead behind her, I mean, it's legendary. <laughs> so Jane, we'd be so honored if you could really help us come into the right state of consciousness, a state of consciousness that carries that new paradigm. I should do so well and really, you know, invoke, <laughs> in, in, invoke the presence of all of that. Thank you, Jane. Thank you so much, Anne-Louise. Well, we live, clearly, dear friends, in the time of the change of eras. At the end of one time, not quite at the beginning of the new one, I believe that this conference is actually an activation of the new time. And this fact that we are in a new time has been the focus of our new book with myself and Anne Lewis, where we explore the very foundations for becoming the future humans of a new civilization. So to begin this session, I'd like to read this invocation from our book. Elect yourself. <laughs> Rise up from the graveyards and terror of those thousand years of suffering, slavery, violence. Become the required human for a new story, a new time, where we stand united in the great circle of life. Oh, friends, the count is on us. Remember who you are, why we're here. Shake off those blankets of forgetfulness. You know your truth, you do. You know who you are. Ignite your passion with the flame of love that was kept alive by Na Nelson Mandela, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Mother Teresa, Joan of Arc, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Malala Yousafzai, and all those all those who fought and are fighting for our liberation and the healing of our world. You know, this is the same flame that lives inside your heart. And with this flame, with this flame, ignite your moral passion for doing what is right, not what is easy and expected. Love liberates. Ignite the healing of our world. Divest from the currency as of greed and separation. Unplug the fuel of hatred and violence and invest in our future with the currencies of justice, truth, and compassion. Put care first, not money first. In this world, there is no place for the old story of prey and predator, winners and losers. In this new time, we stand for every one together. We are the future humans. We are the architects of a world that wakes and works, wakes and works for all of us, a world of plenty, beauty and care, a world we call home. Together, together we will transform the old sick systems, together, we will change our story in favor of life. This is your moment of choice. This is your moment of choice. You hold the power, friends. You make the difference. 
and with this life-given power, elect yourself now for this new world and this new emerging story. This is the new hero and heroine's journey where men, women, children, and earth walk together hand in hand with the cosmos and with the circle of life. Take your place now as this world comes alive in you as the future humans of a whole new time. Thank you so much, Jean. And I think I speak for everyone here when I say these words so inspirationally delivered and so inspirationally written in this fabulous book that you and Anna Luz have put together that we've seen about is so appropriate for our staging of and our exploration of the concepts and the questions and the conversation for action that you are calling us to, to move into. I